using the node voltage method. Find VO in the circuit below. Give this problem a try and keep watching to see the solution. First things first, can we do a simplification that will make our lives easier? The answer is yes. Those two resistors on the right are in parallel, so let's combine them and simplify the circuit a little bit. 150 in parallel with 75 gives 50 ohms, so we have this simplified circuit. Let's call the node where we want to find the voltage node O because the voltage is VO. And let's call this node on the right hand side, node A, this node where we did the parallel combination. Now, using the nodal analysis method basically entails using Kirchhoff's current law, KCL. So let's write the KCL equation at node O. We have current in equals current out. Now what currents are entering and leaving this node? There is this current leaving node O, and we know it must be equal to 2 amperes because there is a current source over there with that current rating. So we have 2 amps over here. What else? We also have this current leaving the node, and by Ohm's law, we know that this current must be VO over 50. So those are the two currents leaving the node. What currents are entering the node? There's only one current entering the node, and it's this current over here. But how do we find this? We can't really say 25, because that's the voltage source over there, not the current source. So, how do we find this current? It comes down to realizing that this is the same current flowing throughout this loop. In other words, it is this current that flows through this 50 ohm resistor over here. So what is this current? It starts at the zero referential node, or what we call the reference node, or ground, and it ends at node A. So the voltage across the 50 ohm resistor is zero minus VA. And to find the current, we divide by the resistance, giving us zero minus VA over 50. So that's it. This is the current entering the node, and we have the two currents leaving the node. Let's simplify this equation by multiplying everything by 50 to clear the denominators, and this gives us the following. So we have one equation but two unknowns because VA and VO are both unknown to us. So how do we find VO, the objective of the question? Notice that there is this voltage source which is the only element between nodes O and A. In other words, node O must be at a higher potential than node A, and this difference in potential is precisely the 25 volts of the source. So VO is 25 plus VA, and this gives us the second equation we need to solve for VO. Let's rewrite VA in terms of VO, and then substitute this VA in the second equation. Doing so, we get this single equation in VO, and now we can distribute bring the VOs to one side and the constants to the other, and then divide by 2, which will give us VO equals negative 37.5 volts. So that's the final answer. Now you may be wondering, is a negative voltage possible? Of course it is. It only means that the polarity we assumed in the circuit labeling is incorrect. So instead of the plus minus you see in the circuit below, it should have been a minus plus like this. But the potential difference in terms of the magnitude is definitely 37.5 volts. Could you figure it out?